Dungeness Crabs, baby. I'm pulling up to the harbor right now. It's super late, it's 12.06 p.m. It's already afternoon. A little bit of a long night. I was meaning to get out here at 6.30 a.m., meet up with my boy, Outdoor Chef Life, but uh, yeah, it was a bit of a late night last night. I didn't make it out of bed in time. So I'm coming here for the afternoon session and it's place is super packed. At one, I don't normally fish on the weekends. It's a Saturday today. Um, so I'm just not used to this many people. And two, it's opening day, Dungeon and Scrap 2022. So obviously, a lot of people are gonna be out today. I'm actually hoping that I'm catching some people on their way out so I can get a nice parking spot. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. Actually, Taku just texted me and said he got his limit. So I'll probably pass him on my way out, uh, him on his way in and uh, hopefully he left a few crabs out there for me. Not typically the way that I like to go fishing. Usually I like to be the first one out here, but so are. We're gonna see if we still get them anyways. Had to get some sleep last night. There's probably gonna be a ton of hoop nets out there already. I probably won't have my first choice on where to drop them, but I'm gonna start out and go to the area where I've done well before, and uh, we'll see if there's any nets out there already. If there are, we might have to adjust accordingly, but if not, drop it where we've caught him before and hopefully some people left a few crab out there for me. The beginning of this season, just like last season, we're restricted to only hoop nets and crab snares for the time being. And the reason for that is the crab pots pose too much of a danger to the migrating whales that come through this, this area. And uh, I mentioned this in my last video, but I was out of the surf last week and I saw a ton of whales, at least a dozen, just from the surf. So. Um, if that's any indication, I feel like it might be some time before they release uh, that restriction. So hoop nets, I got them all packed up behind me here. I don't wanna to lean too far to the side, but maybe you can see them right there, just barely. Anyways, you'll see them later. Got my four hoop nets in tow. We're gonna head out, drop them down, and get some crab. So typically, crab season runs from November to, uh, I wanna say June or July, something like that, but typically the best crabbing is at the beginning of the season. And last season I did a few videos, I believe they were in November, and I don't think I ever went after that. So it's been a while since I had some fresh crab. We're gonna head out now and see if I can find me a few early season dentures. We'll see you guys out there. So just coming out of the harbor here, a lot of boats and a lot of wakes. You really gotta keep your head on a swivel, especially in this little area, because there's a lot of boats going in and out. And even though they should be watching out for you, you can never be 100% sure. The best thing to do is just be aware of your surroundings. Uh, and in the worst case scenario where one doesn't see you, your best scenario, your best bet is just to get out of the way as quickly as possible. Usually yelling and screaming is not gonna do the trick because that boat motor is so loud. Anyway, it's just important to keep your head on the boat in this area, especially. Especially when it's a little foggy like this, both packs are a little harder to see with all these boats around. A little bit hectic, but anyways, we're coming up on Mr. Outdoor Chef Life here. Let's see how he did. Did you leave any for me? Yeah, you should be able to get your limit. Oh man, I got up at five, whatever. I was like, oh no, I don't, I don't think I can do this. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you'll get them now. Yeah, other people said it was tough. Good morning, yeah. I didn't make it. No, I, was, I owe you one. Yeah, yeah, all right. You owe me one. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right dude, we'll on. see ya. All right. So I talked to one guy back at the dock, or back when I was launching my kayak. And he said the same thing. Taku said he got him in a little bit deeper water than what I normally fish. So now I'm a little torn. I think I'm still gonna go to fish my my tried and true areas and just try it. And if it doesn't work, we'll try We'll try one round there. If that doesn't work, we'll head out to his deeper area and try that. So there's a lot of boats riding around the harbor entrance, the jetty right here. And in my opinion, this is like, I mean, you just gotta be, if you wanna be lazy and fish here, then yeah, this is obviously a little bit easier. But if you really wanna get crab, you gotta get away from all these, all this boat action, all these kayaks. And you gotta try a little bit harder. But in my opinion, if you try a little bit harder, you're also gonna get better numbers. So. That's what we're gonna do, and I mean, obviously for me, I'm not even really doing much because the motor's doing all the work, but in my olden days, when I had the pedal kayak, just try a little bit harder, get a little bit farther away from everyone, and so that's my pro tip. Get farther away, and you'll be glad you did. But anyways, headed out, got my blessing from Taku, and let's go get some crap. Did you leave? 
eat some crab for me? Everybody out here. Taku, Moo Moo Outdoors, the Lost Anchovy, and like a hundred other kayaks. I love that there's more kayaks out here. I feel like since I got a kayak, not, not because of me, but I feel like when I started kayak fishing, there was hardly anybody. I mean, there's a handful of kayak fishermen, but it wasn't very popular. Today, it's so popular, they're way outnumbering the amount of boats that I see around here. And uh, I just think that's pretty cool. One day I'll be there in a boat, but I think for now I'm enjoying the kayak game. I feel like the kayak community is so, like, I don't know how to say it, but for the most part, like 99% of the kayak fishermen, I mean, super nice. Everyone's trying to help each other out. I think because we're at a little bit more of a disadvantage uh, when it comes to fishing, like when you're fishing for a boat, it almost feels like cheating now. I feel like because of that, the kayak anglers kind of, we help each other out. And I feel like that's kind of cool. It's like almost like a team sport out here. So. Anyway, it's just a thought I had paddling out here, seeing all the kayaks out here. Really cool to see. All right, well, we made it out. I'm kind of pleasantly surprised. There's a few traps out here, but not as many as I was anticipating. So I think we should be good to go. Hopefully there's some crabs down there waiting for me. Hopefully people didn't fish here and then decide, oh, it's not good and leave. But anyways, we're gonna try it out. So we got our hoop net right here. If you wanna know more about how I set this up, it's nothing super fancy, but there are a few things I like to do that I think improve my fishing a little bit. If you're interested in knowing a little bit more how I set this up, uh, I did a video on my Patreon. If you're not familiar with the Patreon, it's a little, kind of like a how-to thing. Like I gotta do one video per month doing a description of kind of a little more in-depth analysis of my setup. So like this month I did the hoop net. I think last one I did was, uh, I don't remember. I did one about my halibut drifting setup, one halibut trolling in the bay. I did, I think I did my salmon setup recently. Um, so anyways, if you're interested in that, you can check my Patreon, it's linked in the description. But let me show you what we got for bait. For bait, as far as I'm concerned, you can pretty much use anything for crab. Crab are not very picky, as long as it's meat, protein, I feel like they're gonna eat it. So with that in mind, the easiest way to do that is to buy something at the store, just go and buy chicken or whatever. Um, but there's no fun in that. So let me show you how I caught this bait. Oh, I hate this place. But we're on a crab bait mission. crouching down here and I can see the fish swimming by soup, like five feet from the shore. I mean these are all stock trout. They're not the smartest fish um, and for some reason everyone's fishing down the lake that way. So I'm going to try to catch a few and be kind of quiet about it so that I can keep this spot to myself for this morning. Or at least catch a few first. So I got my net ready. I see a few swimming by. We're just going to flick this out. And this shouldn't take too long. We're gonna sight fish these fish. Oh, there we go. Got one. There we go. Oh, this thing is like dead already. <laughs> Stock trout, not very strong here. Dude, at least fight a little bit. Look at that. Yeah, he's probably tired out from the whole stalking process. I imagine that probably takes it out of you. But anyways, let's land this fish. Uh oh, oh no, 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 don't get caught up in there. Oh, oh, there he goes. There he goes. Now he's fighting a little bit. 
Oh, it came off. <laughs> Look at that. Got him. <laughs> oh, these fish are so dumb. That fish came off and then it just like sat there and I netted him. Yeah. And just like that, we got crab bait. There it is right there. That's a pretty big trout. That's the biggest stock trout I've caught in a while. Probably like a five pounder, I would guess. And uh, this is what we're gonna use for bait. Hopefully those crabs like stock trout. Uh, we're gonna cut them up and distribute them throughout our four traps. This one and then that other small one that I got. All right, first one, going down. We're gonna drop this down nice and slow. Make sure that it hits the bottom nice and flat. No issues, it's fishing like it's supposed to be. And plenty of time for those crabs to just crawl right in there. One down, three to go. Number two, going down. Number three, going down. I think it's imperative that you throw the crab net just for the added effect, not just drop it in. You gotta toss it. That's what they do on TV at least. And last but not least, number four. Going down. We're officially crabbing. So I'm gonna let those sit there for at least an hour. It's now 1.30. We'll come back at, let's come back at three o'clock. And then if that's good, hopefully I got some by then. We'll let those sit for about a maybe a little more than an hour. So it's 1.30 right now. We'll come back at like three o'clock, pull them up, and hopefully there'll be some crab in there. But while we're doing that, I did bring a fishing rod behind me here. So let's head out to the fishing grounds. Maybe, I mean, we don't have much time, but maybe we'll get lucky and see if we can get fish while we're waiting for these crabs to find our stuff. rig, one in the front, one in the back. Drop that down to the bottom and see what happens. I've been down there for more than like a minute. We're gonna go for it. Yep. Yep. Oh no, just let go. Again. Oh man, I keep letting it go. Let it again. There we go. Now I got him. Now I got him. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. so aggressive, came back third time for it. 
with this keeper. Yep. Ah, go for it. She comes off so well. Come on. Boom! Ling in the boat. That didn't take long. Oh wow. This is sick. So someone else hooked this fish. It's got a, another hook inside its mouth. I don't want to stick my hand in there, but... I don't know if you guys can see that. Do you see that? There's another hook in there behind mine. Someone else hooked them and broke them off. I'm pretty sure he's legal. Legal size 22 inches. Oh yeah. Keeper all day. 23 and a half. So yeah, unfortunately for someone else, they hooked him and lost him. He was able to break them off. These link cod have super, super sharp teeth, very abrasive. And uh, if you're not checking your leaders or if you're not using heavy enough line, you can very well chew right through it. There's my hook, that one's out. Uh, here for now, we're gonna have to check that leader. Like I said, they got sharp teeth. It'll definitely chafe up your leader. And then, you there's another hook so if this looks like your hook you recently broke off a fish out here I got him we'll save that and throw it away got him got him got him got him got him I don't know, it doesn't feel that big. Yeah, little guy. Little guy. Definitely not a keeper. All right, man, fog is brutal out here. But this link cut number two, unfortunately that's just a little guy, a little bit too small to keep, so he's gonna get the catch and release treatment. Bye. All right, well, a couple of lings, one keeper, one shaker, not too bad. I was, that's really just a bonus. I was mainly coming out here for the crab. And it's now been soaking, prime time. Hopefully the crabs have found my stuff. I'm about to go ahead in here, pull up, and hope for the best. Ah! All right, the time has come. Coming up on the first trap here. I feel like this first trap is going to be indicative of how this session is going to go. If there's nothing in here, then it might mean that there's going to be nothing in all of them. But we'll find out. Only one way to find out. And that's to pull them up. Pull it up here. Nope. Nothing. Wow, one little rock crab. Well, that's not good. Definitely not gonna drop it back there. All right, well, I guess best case scenario is there was something wrong with that pot. Maybe it fell sideways or something, I don't know. I feel like that's unlikely, but for the sake of the next couple pots, that's our best hope. So we're gonna pull the next two here, or the next three. Let's see what happens. So it's not feeling that heavy, I'm gonna be honest. Uh oh, 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 there's one in there, two in there. All right, well, there's something. A couple of crab. This one's definitely too small. Little female. Uh, that's a crab, at least. This one, maybe. Maybe a keeper. So here's our measuring device. This is called a crab gauge. And in order for the crabs to be keeper crabs here in California, they need to be five and three quarters across the middle of the carapace here. There's two spines on the end of the carapace, and you want to measure right from the inside of that spine. And if it's five and three quarters, oh, that's keeper. Just under six inches, like five and seven eighths, I guess. That's keeper. And because the crabbing's so tough, we're going to keep it. So 
In some states, they only allow you to keep male Dungeness crab. In California, you can keep females and males. Um, they just have to be five and three quarters across. In an ideal world where I had a bunch of keepers, uh, the males are more preferred, I guess you could say. They have more meat, the legs are bigger, and the uh, claws are bigger, everything's bigger on the male, so there's more meat per crab on a male. But, desperate times call for desperate measures, so let's throw this female in the box. All right, at least we got one. What do we got this time? Uh oh, two rock crab, small ones. Here. Oh my god, this is pretty bad. Pretty bad. Alright, well, I debated whether to just pack it in and just chalk it up to a bad day of crabbing, but I think I'm gonna try another spot. I'm gonna try moving out a little bit deeper because that's where Kaku said he was having better luck. This fog is brutal, but let's just deal with it. Let's get out there, drop them back down, see if we can at least get a couple crab to bring home. All right guys, check this out. So I just was motoring out to find a new spot for my crab gear, and then I found this like strand of braid just on the top of the water. And it feels like there might be something on the end of this. I'm not sure. It'd be crazy if it was a fishing rod, but I don't I don't really know what's going on here. At the very least we need to get this out of here so it doesn't tangle up with any wildlife. I mean look at this. I don't think there's a fishing rod on this, but at least we're gonna pick this up and get it out of the water. Hopefully it was an accident. I assume it was. But uh, yeah, that kind of sucks for that person. They just lost all that braid in their setup. Uh, all right, well, clean up the ocean. I'm a little deeper this time. All right, well, no luck on the fishing the second time around, but I didn't give it as much time. It's just getting too cold. Gotta pull up my stuff and then get out of here. So, these have been soaking for a little over an hour, so plenty of time. There should have been, you know, if there's crab around, they would have crawled their way in here. So, we're about to find out. I got four tries. Honestly, I'd be happy. Uh, I mean, honestly, I'd be happy with anything. I feel like the first one's always uh, the one that's gonna tell the story. So let's find out how our day's gonna go. in there. I think that's a keeper. This one definitely not. This one right here, we'll let this one go. Little male. That's a nice male. All right, let's give him a measure. Oh no, don't tell me. Oh, he's just barely too short. Oh, by like a, man, like even less than an eighth of an inch, by like a millimeter. But too short nonetheless. Dang, so close. Has all his legs too, but oh well, let him go. But that's a good sign. At least there were some crab in here. There was two of them, even though they're both too small. I have a good feeling that we should be able to at least get one or two keepers out of the next three poles. So let's clean this one up. Move on to the next one. All right, here we go, number two. What do you guys think? Crab or no crab? Ugh. I feel like there's something in here. Oh yeah, oh crab, oh. Dude, we might've got three keepers in that one. That is what I'm talking about right there. So this one right here, too small. And then the other three, oh man, at least, I think they're all keepers. I don't know, this one's pretty close. They're all males. 
All right, let's measure this one. Let's see, come on. Be a male keeper. Nope, too small. Dang, that's a nice one, but too small. I'm pretty sure these other two are keepers though. It's a male keeper. Almost six and a quarter. That's what I came here for. That's a nice keeper there. And it's, I'm soaked. I don't know, this rain jacket's not waterproof anymore. Another six and a quarter. Beautiful Dungeness crab. I'm gonna be eating good tonight. All right, well, a little bit of a tough day. I got the late start. I think that really cost me, but um, luckily I was able to come up on a few nice crab. I'm gonna be eating crab tonight and that's what counts. I got more crab now than I did yesterday and than I did this morning. So can't complain about that. Plus a nice link cut as a bonus. Today, the deeper water was definitely a little bit better than the shallower water where I've caught crabs in the past. So might have to try that next time out. But once again, if you wanna check out more on that uh, hoop net setup, check out the Patreon. I'll leave it linked in the description. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. I'm cold, I'm wet. I'm tired, but I'm beating crab tonight. That's what counts. We'll see you guys next time.